What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're jumping back onto this golf buggy going from electric to petrol. So today's video is going to be a bit of a short video but I'll give you guys an update. It has been a pretty tough process getting all the parts together for this thing. Um, so I'll show you guys what we're going to do with the rear end but the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pull this roof off and the body off and then we'll jump straight into it. Alright so I just took the body and the roof off, just done that really quick off camera. Um, so I want to give you guys an update on this rear end. So what I've done here, this is our jack shaft. So this will uh, be in the middle, so the motor will drive the shaft and then um, the shaft will drive the rear end. So this has taken a lot of uh, time to get ready and all that, so I've had to get the keyway cut, I've had to get some gears and all that. Um, this is a 38 tooth gear to drive the rear end because we need to get that rear end spinning fast. It is 11 turns of the rear end to one turn of the wheels. So this thing is geared very heavily, so we need to try and speed that up a little bit. So the problem I'm having is um, adapting the motor, motorbike motor to this shaft. Now this shaft is one and one eighth inch shaft. So I've got a motorbike sprocket um, and I've had a shop try and turn that down. Uh, but this, I think this is some type of um, hardened metal so you can't actually turn that. So I was actually going to put it on, on here. Um, something like this, a little boss adapter to put on there. But that, that doesn't work so we can't turn that down. So that's why this video is probably going to be pretty short guys because I can't really go much further with doing that. Um, I'm going to put the, mock up the rear end as much as I can. We could probably put the motor in or sit it in there for now but that's probably about all we can do because I don't have a sprocket to aim it at yet. Um, I did get the motor one done too so that's that slides off there. It's got a keyway cut in it now. Um, so that'll go inside so we'll be able to cut an access hole out of there. Put the new bearing in. This is the motorbike chain. Now that obviously fits that sprocket pretty good there but on this new sprocket it's a fair way off now these are only about two mil uh in difference they um the shop measured it and they tried to get a new sprocket and all that so yeah i'm gonna have to try and find some type of sprocket maybe a, a mild steel one that we can weld and and cut down so i have to try and find that but that might even have to come from america so yeah this is taking a fair bit of time to get all this stuff i think what the next thing we'll do we'll uh, put that new bearing in and we'll, we'll cut an access hole out and put the motor on Alrighty, so i've taken the cover off the back um as i mentioned last time that i sandblasted all this cleaned it all up so it's a lot nicer now so i've got this uh 6203 bearing it's a pretty generic bearing so that goes on the end of there so that keeps that shaft running nice and true so i'll tap this in and then i'll put that little retainer on So that bearing's now held in like that. So it's got those two little tabs so that can't come out. And that sort of helps us with keeping that shaft in place too. So the next thing I'll do is I'll bolt this down completely down to there. Um, and we'll tap this in and get an uh, area of where we're going to cut that side slot out. guys so i got that all cut out there now that looks good um ideally i should have drilled a hole in each corner to meet the cut up against but that's all right that'll do the job i'll have to clean up the extra bit of paint pen around the edges and i might i'll give this whole thing a bit of a paint one day but for now it'll do the trick um so i've just nipped those grub screws up inside a little bit i will have to pull that back off and tack that um, sprocket to that hub but for now that'll do so just be able to line everything up and when we get the welder out i'll pull that off so I'll bolt this up now and I think we'll get that jack shaft and roughly mount it somewhere. Um, I've got a little bit of chain there, about three metres of it, so we'll try and make something work. Alright, so I've got the use of a shed at the moment because it's raining outside on and off. So um, I've brought this in here, I've sort of mocked up this shaft, so I've got two um, bricks sitting there. And that's roughly about the height where it's going to sit. I will drop it a little bit lower. Um, but as you can see, the chain just slightly rubs at the top. And the bottom, I'll probably have to cut a hole on the other side of the bolt, the through bolts that go in. 
so it can exit at the bottom and without rubbing, rubbing down there. So what I'm going to do is weld up a couple of little supports. Um, we'll sit this, these pillow blocks on top for now because I, I sort of don't want to weld anything too much until I get that motor sorted and it could take a couple of weeks. And then I want to add just a brace in the back while I've got the welder out. So I'll just brace that so that they um, don't keep moving. So got this thing pushed back outside. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So the sprocket isn't lined up at the moment. I've just set this on top. So basically I've just tacked these plates in place because I don't know if I'm gonna to have to move it once I put the motor in. Um, so I will have to run a piece across the top. So laying across the top and I'll have slotted holes so that you can adjust the chain tension. And the plate I'll probably make fairly big so we can bolt it to wherever because obviously um, my shaft is probably not long enough to be able to fit on here on both sides. Um, but I did want to put it all on the swing arm so it all moves as one. So as I said, I'll have to cut some more out of that motor, but I'll do that once I've got it mounted. Um, I probably should have cut that after instead of cutting it before. But that looks pretty good down in there. I've just got the, um, the chain thrown inside. And I'm really happy with how this back turned out. So that's all braced up now, won't go anywhere. And I will add some more to those front A-arm plates that I did make. But I think for now, that's going to be really good. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be wrap today's video. Thanks for watching. So we got that rear end mocked up there in place. So I won't go any further until we get that other sprocket for the motor. Now, I may have to turn something down or order something from um, America. So I just don't know how long that's going to take. But hopefully, we'll be able to plot along and do some other little things. So I want to order some pedals for this thing so we can adapt something up for that motor and maybe a gear shifter. So I might order some of those. And I do want to put a tray on the back, so maybe we could do something like that. So if you guys have got any ideas, let me know down in the comments. And I'm hoping to have a shed here real soon, guys. I'm sort of sick of having to borrow people's sheds and welders and, and working outside, so I'll be able to organise something there. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube. Smash that subscribe button and notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.